We are standing in the diorama of the world famous cyclorama of the Battle of Gettysburg that captures the last day of the battle in July of 1863. This painting was created in 1884 for the city of Boston and featured on the canvas are over 20,000 figures. We know who some of those figures are, so let me show you just one. If you look behind me, you'll see a wooden tripod to a well, and just above it, you'll see a figure, a, a set of figures. It's three, two soldiers carrying a wounded soldier between them. Notice how the face of the, of the wounded man is very pale with a dark black beard, and he seems to be wearing a suit coat and a white shirt. That's a depiction, a symbolic depiction, of Abraham Lincoln, the president during the Civil War, and he's depicted here as a wounded man because we're depicting the wounded nation. That was the purpose of fighting the Civil War to restore the Union. One of the more well-known figures portrayed on this canvas, and by the way, this canvas is 377 feet in circumference and 42 feet high. Its purpose is to place you, the viewer, right in the center of the action. So one of the fi an additional figure identified is right above me. You can see three red flags in the middle of that cluster of soldiers. And off to the right is a black horse with a soldier clad in gray, his head thrown back. That's General Louis Armistead, Confederate Brigadier General, who led his men into the Union line on July 3rd. He's going to receive mortal wounds in an attempt to conquer the Union Army that day. So you're seeing him right at the moment when he received the, the wounds that will eventually take his life. The artist's purpose of painting this magnificent cycloramic landscape was to place the viewer, you, right in the center of the action. So here we are on the platform of the cyclorama, the positioning where you can see all around you what took place on that moment on July 3rd, 1863. The artist actually used a platform out on the battlefield to make sketches and take pictures so that he could then recreate everything he saw that day, populated it with battle figures after he interviewed participants, men who are actually in this battle and some of whom are portrayed on this canvas. So this is an historic document. This canvas is very, very close to, as to what the scenery looked like here in 1863. Thank you.